What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show and in this video, After Prison Show and in this video, Cody the Auto-Tunes! Telling you, I'm telling you, that rap career is coming very soon. I've been working on some things. I got something coming for you. I can promise. It's just not in this video or in the next or in the one after that. But it is coming though, so stick around for that. But in this video, I wanna tell you about this crazy story that I just saw in the news in relation to prison and prisoners trying to get in that old illegal contraband. Prisoners are always up to sneak attack to try to get things in that they can't have in prison, and they do this for a number of different reasons. I don't know why I'm talking so country. I'm gonna try to stop doing that right now. But again, this story is about an inmate who just got caught and charged with trying to get something illegal sent in to him. Obviously, it was drugs. And you know, you might wonder like, why in the hell would prisoners try to do this? Knowing that there's a damn good possibility they could get caught, that's the first thing. And also, I mean, it's a probably good likelihood that if they're trying to get this sent in to them, then hypothetically speaking, I don't know if that's the right term I'm trying to use there, but, I mean, it is a good likelihood that that's what they're originally locked up for. Damn, you would think that if they got caught and they're serving time for this, they might want to pump the brakes a little bit, slow down, maybe try to reevaluate their life and do things just a little differently. But in a lot of cases, they don't do that at all, and instead what they do is they just try to keep on keeping on, if that makes any sense at all. Keep on keeping on. But this story takes place in Concord, Massachusetts at the MCI Concord Correctional Facility. Where prison officials in Massachusetts say someone tried to send drugs to an inmate by mailing a laminated prayer card. Had to make sure I was reading that correctly. A prayer card? And inside of that prayer card contained wafer thin strips of a prescription narcotic. And for those of you who have no idea what that is, it is Suboxone. That is a definite fan favorite of guys who are locked up who still want to indulge in illegal stuff. The Boston Globe reports that the State Department of Corrections discovered orange strips of Suboxone sandwiched inside the card, which featured an illustration of Jesus and offered a prayer of comfort. Oh my God. I've heard it all now. I mean, it is oftentimes said that a drug addict has no boundaries when it comes to the lengths that they will go to try to get them their next fix. And I mean to think that this guy had this Suboxone sent into him inside of a prayer card with a picture of Jesus on it with a prayer of comfort inside of it along with those Suboxones. Are you going to hell? I mean, there ain't no if ands, or buts about it. There ain't no U-turns. Don't pass go. You're going straight to hell. And you know, me kind of considering myself like a connoisseur of the prisons, considering all the time that I have served, I certainly know a thing or two about the mentality of guys who are locked up. I can guarantee you, in my own expert opinion, that this guy knew exactly what he was doing, and whoever he had sent this to him, he told them to do exactly what they did. Hey, look, I'm gonna need you to send me something and we're gonna get it in. It's gonna work. But isn't trying to get contraband through the mail kind of a played out way to do things? I mean, guards are pretty hip to this. You don't think they're gonna catch this? It is played out, it is. But listen, we're gonna use one card specifically and it's gonna feature somebody very important on the cover of it. Jesus. Oh my God, it just might work. I mean, it just might work. I have never in my life heard of anybody getting caught with a card with Jesus on the cover of it. But unfortunately for you, Mr. Young, that line you crossed was real, and those plants you brought with you were illegal. Bond set at $10,000. Little movie trivia for you right there, even though that has nothing to do with this. However, this guy's plan, it most certainly didn't work. This guy's logic, certainly not smart enough to outsmart those super smart prison guards and staff officials. And because of that, this guy ended up getting caught trying to get these Suboxones mailed in to him. Inside of a religious, dare I say, sacred, card with a prayer of comfort inside of it at that and also a little something extra for guys who like that kind of comfort the story says that this card contained more than a dozen to boxing strips oh my god had this guy got that through you know these individual strips in prison can range anywhere from about fifty dollars to a hundred dollars sometimes even up to two hundred dollars this guy was trying to get 12 of these in so let's do the math on that. I mean, with 12 of these things, you're looking at anywhere between like 1,200 or more dollars. That is a lot of damn money in prison. 
Authorities say the discovery was made on Tuesday as guards were sifting through a prisoner's mail. Now that sort of sounds to me like they already had the heads up. Maybe this guy who was getting these things mailed in told the wrong person who ended up telling prison staff or officials, hey look, you really need to be on the watch out for this guy's mail coming in. I got a feeling he got a package coming. And if he does and you find that, I'm gonna need me an extra hot dog tray. You got me? You got me, right? Now, you know, most prisoners who know a thing or two about being locked up, I mean, they're not green. They've been doing this for a while. They know that the mail is probably the hardest way to try to get anything through. Whether that be something illegal, whether that be tobacco, whether that be pictures that you're not supposed to have. I mean, anything. And the reason that prisoners know this is because they know when that mail comes into the prison, they got all sorts of ways that they like to sift through it. Whether it's going through some sort of x-ray machine or whether it's going across some sort of light table where they can actually see right through that damn mail. Most everybody who is serving time knows that if they're trying to get anything in, the mail is certainly not the way to go. I mean, you got like a 99.99999 chance of that just not working and you ending up with an additional damn charge. Which I can guarantee you, this guy trying to get this card in featuring Jesus and this prayer of comfort packed with those suboxins most certainly is going to end up getting if he hasn't already gotten an additional felony charge, which is going to end up causing you to have to serve even more time locked up. And whoever sent this to this prisoner based upon that return address, you can guarantee they're going to visit that person. They're going to be getting a charge as well. That is to say, if they even put a real return address on this, I'm quite sure that they probably didn't. However, even if they didn't put a real return address on there, there's a good possibility this person could still get jammed up based upon this prisoner's phone calls or this prisoner telling on whoever it was who sent this to him in an effort to save his own damn ass. This story concludes with a correction spokesman saying that Suboxone is in demand and inmates are always coming up with creative ways to obtain it. Well, I gotta be honest to you, there really is nothing more creative to me than using a card with a prayer of comfort featuring Jesus. I mean, God, you are most certainly damned for all eternity. How are you going to rebound from this one? How are you going to ask for forgiveness for doing this? Lord, forgive me, but I need you. And you may not like the way that I need you. But through you, Lord, literally, we're going to make something good happen. You know, while I was locked up, Suboxone was a huge thing as well. I never messed with it, but I knew plenty of people who did. And I can remember one time specifically when the very last place that I was at serving time ended up becoming flooded with these strips. It was a big rumor that this prisoner had gotten like 100 of these strips in. And while getting them in, he damn sure ain't get them in through the mail either. But this rumor went on to say that there were so many of these Suboxone strips on the compound that these things couldn't even be sold anymore because all of the prisoners who indulged in these, who liked these and were buying these, I mean, there was no more money to buy these with. This place was so flooded, the price that I had mentioned earlier, that $50 to $100 to $200 a strip here at this facility, these things were like $25. Anything. Give me hygiene. Give me stamps. Whatever. Just get me $25 so I can hurry up and get these things off. And I mean, the way it's been told to me, these strips can last a person like a week. And that, along with the fact that there was so much of this on this compound that prisoners couldn't even afford to buy it anymore. I mean, this place was so flooded, they couldn't even sell it. That is absolute insanity to me. And again, this was never anything that I ever did, that I ever even experimented with. I didn't want no parts of this. But it certainly wasn't hard to see who did enjoy these strips when you would be talking to a guy like, Hey, what's up, man? We're trying to get a soccer game outside. You want to come play? What the hell's wrong with you? What, what are you, tired? What, you ain't get no sleep last night? I, uh, take it that's a no. I'll be outside. Yeah, during this time was like being on the set of The Walking Dead. Everybody was a walker. <laughs> What the? The f Hey, look, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment. Let me know exactly what you thought about it. As always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never use a card featuring Jesus to try to do anything bad. That could have some pretty serious repercussions for you. And make the most of every day. Peace!